Good morning, everyone. So we are at our Airbnb right now and it's absolutely insane. Check out this view. Culebra. Now I got, I keep butchering the name of this island. It's Culebra. But we went ahead, we got some coffee. We got our little pastries here. You already know about them croissants. And we're gonna go head out on the boat for our first official day here. We're gonna stay close to the island just because right now there's no gas on the island. So we don't wanna burn a lot of fuel. We're gonna stay close, stay shallow, and the water looks absolutely incredible. The goal is to spear a hogfish, but as you guys know, you never know what you're gonna get into when you get out there in the ocean. So right now we're gonna pack up, we're gonna head to the boat, and I'll see you guys on the water. working on the island. Rerouting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rerouting? I, I almost was the cooler. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a big hole. Hold on. Oh god. We got a lot of weight in the back. <laughs> shit. Okay, so just shout out to Alberto's house. We're keeping the boat at his dock. Carlos and Natalia used to work around here. Oh my gosh, the water is crystal clear and the seagrass. Wow. You do not see that often anymore. The seagrass looks amazing. Big tarpon right here, Kevin. Carlos just pointed out a huge tarpon. Wow. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Clear water. Mm. That's what I like to call salty pleasure. Another big old tarpon right there. This is gonna be sick. I have a good feeling. Me and Blue Gabe are about to bust out some incredible videos here. All right, we're gonna get the boat loaded up and get out on the water. So we are gearing up to get in the water. Blue Gabe's already in the water. Carlos already hooked up to a fish, but he just lost it. We think it was probably like a yellowtail snapper or oh, something. Fish on. Oh, he's fish on now. The current's really strong, so put her in up current. Okay. What you got? Woo! A little blue runner? Yeah. Got bait. We got bait. Got a All right, you guys, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Hop in the water. <laughs> so Blue Gabe and I are gonna get in the water right here along this coastline. And we're just gonna do a shallow water drift and just see what we see. If we see some fish, we're gonna shoot. If not, we're gonna go check out a new spot. Today, we're just exploring the waters and get to know them. You want gloves? Those are whales! Those are full on whales. Oh my 
amazing! The thing is that this island is right in the middle of the ocean. So <laughs> yes! That's oh why it's an airplane. I told you, like, look at the whales. Yeah, they're, they're around. Wow! Oh my god, that's so cool! We hear whales underwater! What do you call them? Rainbow runners are uh, uh, Hawaiian salmon in Spanish. They are uh, salmon Hawaiano. Okay. Babe. Babe. They're Spanish salmon. <laughs> Good job, babe. What kind is that? Yellow jack. You love shooting yellow jacks. I know, leave it to me. That's a big one. I turned that loose because oh. it was pulling on you guys. Oh. Babe. Oh shit. That's one of the biggest I've ever seen. I know, it's a monster. I swear they do not look that big in the water. Oh. Man, that was the easiest. I, I stunned him oh, too. I hit his spine and he just went boom. Perfect. I'm so happy right now. So let, can we talk about the kingfish? Uh, yeah, I literally we doled down at the same time and I was right behind you and I'm like, dude. Kelly Young will call a fish from like 400 yards out. She's like, there's a fish coming. Oh, you stole my fish. You did. But we're, we're filling the boat. She just shot a monster yellow jack. I'm not going to show it because you got to see it on her video. We got all kinds of fish. Did you get yours? That, there's a little, uh, Atlantic shark nose for a silky shark about this big and he was chasing his fish up but then he lost interest I think because the fish was bigger than him. <laughs> Man we got a lot of fish this is the spot right here where there's so much bait fish here so before I shot this yellow jack two horse eye jacks swam like right to my tip and I was like I just don't want to shoot a horse eye like we already got one in the boat and he just caught one so a big old school of these swam by and I was like, I picked out the biggest one. That's what I got. Grocery shopping in Culebra. How do you say this place? Oh, but, oh now you must say it. Culebra. Say it again. Culebra. Culebra. We're grocery shopping in Culebra right now in the ocean. <laughs>
my gosh, this joker's strong. so he was taking me for a run for my money. He took the buoy underwater too. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I don't know if I got my fish on camera or not. I didn't get this one on camera. I was like, no. Hold on, let me swing my flippers around. Oh my God. All right, you guys just shot my first Jack Revelle. It's L a lot bigger than I thought he was. He took the buoy underwater and everything, but we got him in the boat. I'm either gonna cook him or use him for bait, I'm not sure yet. But we found an amazing spot. There is just bait fish everywhere. What Luckily, about the whales though? Yeah, so we're diving, the deeper you go down, you hear the whales echo location through the water and it's surreal, it is amazing. It scared them, like scared, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> At first I was like, whales? I'm like, no, they're whales. Oh my gosh. I'm out of nice fish, Kelly. Thank you. Yep. He's fighting me. <laughs> yes, yes, they're the big giant ones. It's big. Like the grandes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Guys, we just got in back of the boat from spearfishing and we're spotting whales. We kept hearing them underwater. But now we just saw them, so we're gonna run to them, jump in, and see if we can swim with them. Grab the leader, so oh, it's just she me. And ceviche. My bad. We just got two fish on one hook. Yes. Yeah, those rods are strong. You guys already know what a yellow jack is, right here. Ooh. Really good ceviche. And we got more bait. So as we were chasing this whale, Carlos and Gugabe dropped out some vertical jigs and Carlos hooked up to an AP. Unfortunately, we lost it. So we came back to this spot and we caught a yellow jack, some blue runners, which I'm cutting up now for bait. And now Natalia's hooked up to something big. I just lost $40 worth of jigs in two minutes. Oh, probably kudas. Let's go, Natalia. Yes. Let's go. you guys we've just been exploring different kind of spots game shot oh do not he I bit my glove i was just gonna say don't mistake. get bit by these and i literally grabbed him by the face these are one of my favorite fish to eat good old trigger fish uh them jokers will mess you up i'd rather get bit by a shark than one of these Look at him, he's So enough. we just got off the boat, we're hauling butt to the grocery store so we can get some food. But look, our friend from this morning is back. Hello. Hi. Please don't hurt me. Hi. Okay. We got to go. Store is gonna close soon. Do not piss him off. Oh, get him. He's coming for me. I want him to, to nunchuck buck you in the head. <laughs> He's nice. Don't make him mean. Oh. Oh. oh, he's hungry. Oh, I love him. He don't like you. We made it. To the local grocery. All right, you guys, it's time to clean this big old yellow jack. This is the biggest yellow jack I've ever seen and speared. If you guys watched my channel before, I love spearing yellow jack because they make amazing ceviche. And this guy's gut is full of something. We're going to find out what it is. You love gutting fish, don't you? I love gutting fish. 
What's over here on the table, though? I don't know. Oh. Gabe never cleans up his messes. Let's do the sneak peek. <laughs> Group never. Head. I didn't click. I what? Did I get a little sidetracked? A little guys, bit, just a little bit. A little bit sidetracked. Carlos caught a the biggest snapper I have ever seen. I ain't saying the type of snapper, but it is very unusual to see the snapper in what six feet of six, water, not, not even, crystal clear. Not even six feet. Five feet. This big old snapper was rolling in with these tarpon like it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna, it's gonna be on Blue Gabe's channel. Carlos catching it with a safe release. Okay, time to gut this fish. I'm gonna start at the throat. Make my way down. Oh. That part's always so hard. I wish I had some shears. Oh, His belly is full. Whoa. Is that Ro? That's Ro. It's a her. Her belly is full. What in the world? Hold on. It's going to get messy. Hold on. It's going to get messy. Just hold on. Heck, there's some good old roll right there. Some fish eggs. It feels like a whole fish. That's the stomach right there. How come I always get the fish with the with the full bellies? One time I found an entire baby shark inside a large great barracuda. It was insane. What the heck? Hold on, we're going, we're going. <gasps> it's a, it's a yellow tail. It's a whole yellow tail snapper that this yellow, yellow jack just ate. Holy smokes. All right, you guys, we're gonna give this filet mignon to the tarpon right here. Who wants it? Like, ew. ew. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the yellow tail sticking out of his mouth. Oh, he's like, dang, this is it. He's like, dang, this is expired. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna. Oh, let's get rid of these guts before we flay this fish. I got a grande. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Was that how you bow? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> you felt that? Yeah. Carlos here in Puerto Rico is the man when it comes to tarpon. He's put a lot of people on their first. Come up around the, the boat. Look at Kelly's over here cleaning the fish. Nice yeah. fish, Kelly. They're putting you to work, Kelly. That's not that, that's that's no fun. It's usually the way it is. You guys, there's a lot more to come in this video other than this tarpon. He's ready almost. Uh oh. Check out this view we have from our Airbnb. It is absolutely gorgeous. We leave 
tomorrow and I really don't want to leave because this is very hard to leave behind. But right now, check this out. I'm making ceviche with the big old yellow jack that I speared yesterday. Went ahead and prepped everything. Check out this plane. was like 20 feet above a car right now that's how me and natalia carlos's girlfriend that's how we flew in and then blue gabe and carlos drove by boat about two and a half hours to get to this island it's called calebra got it <clears throat> it's called calebra it's a little island off of puerto rico and it's been absolutely amazing but right now we're gonna get started making the ceviche um so at the store here it's a very small island so you kind of have to, you get what you get. But luckily they had a lot of produce here in the local grocery. They only had two limes though, so I'm gonna substitute the rest of the limes with some lemon and a little bit of orange. So you take your raw fish, you're gonna squeeze the lime all over it. This is not good for all the cuts I have on my hands. Whew. One board I'm standing on squeaking. <laughs> So the lime juice is actually going to help kind of cook the fish because it's so acidic. And you'll notice your raw fish will turn a little bit white. A little bit of lemon. Oh, the lemon's a lot more juicier. No, a seed. The limes aren't as juicy as the lemon. So normally with ceviche, I have these special chips that I get back at home in Florida. I think they're called like July. There's a July on the name of the bag. And they have lime uh, tortilla chips. And I think they pair perfectly with ceviche. However, I couldn't find those. So we're gonna be using these simply organic uh, tortilla chips, which I've had these with ceviche before and they were pretty good. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay. So after you get all the juice in there, I just kind of stir it up. Because the fish on the bottom is going to be sitting in the juice. And kind of let that cook for a little bit. Let that marinate. Put that in the shade. Alright, next you're going to get yourself a big old bowl. And you're going to add all your ingredients. The cool thing with ceviche is you can do whatever you want with it. So I have some cucumber some red onion. I have some yellow peppers and a little bit of tomato. Not too much tomato, but a little bit. I like it. And of course, avocado, my favorite. Mm. And this is pineapple. I just got a little bit of canned pineapple. Um, that way I have a lot of the juice left over if I want to add more pineapple juice to my ceviche if it gets a little too limey. Check out these chickens though. I have some zoomed in footage of them crowing this morning. They There's like 20 of them in the morning from like 6.30 a.m. to 8 o'clock in the morning. All they do is crow. <laughs> So you definitely don't need an alarm clock here because you got the chickens outside. All right, next I'm gonna add this pineapple here. I love adding pineapple to my ceviche because it gives it like a nice sweet flavor to it. That or mango. Fortunately, I don't have mango, but pineapple will do. Stir it all up. Mm. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of orange. I love 
citrus sweet flavors. Spell that much. All right, you see how the edges of our fish are kind of turning white a little bit? That's all the lime juice kind of getting to the fish. I like to let it marinate in the juice first before I add it in here, just because I don't really know why. That's just something I like to do. We're gonna give that a couple more minutes and then add it to our the rest of our ceviche here. That lizard's doing a serious dance. He's calling this one over. Yeah, he just did like extreme push-ups. He's mating. He's trying to. He's trying to win over the girl. Look at, lizard it, look at him. Here. Wiggle on his tail. Do it again, bro. Oh, she's coming over. She noticed. Oh, that little tail wiggle though. Oh, she don't like it. She just turned away. Oh, she's like, look at him. Oh my gosh. I told you. He's like, oh. <laughs> I've never seen, usually they do the little thing with their neck. Dang, too bad we don't have a zoom camera right now. That was funny. That's hilarious. All right. Next step, where's my spoon? We're adding the fish. Now with yellow jack, I tend to notice uh, it's a very, very good fish to eat raw. Um, but I know it's a little bit of a tougher fish. So I like to make any type of sushi or sashimi or ceviche with yellow jack the next day because it gives it allows time for the muscles to relax. That way it's not so tough. Mm. This is gonna be so refreshing on the boat. All right, next step, pop open your bag of chips. Mm, wow, these are some nice chips. Nice. Come on, taste tester. Do you like everything in this? Yes, I do. We're about to get to watch this plane take off. Hold on, let me get this angle. Here he comes. here taking Instagram pictures because it looks so beautiful with the prepped food against the water and the islands in the background. Mm. Mm. Alright blue game. Mm -mm. I so badly want to eat one of those chickens though. Listen when I first got here we went to the other Airbnb first there was a chicken and we were locked out at the first Airbnb, Airbnb long story you guys can see it on the vlog video that's before this one it was kind of a show. But there was a chicken running around. I was like, that's going to be our dinner because we were stranded. <laughs> All right, turn the camera around. Let me try. That pineapple island flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you say delicious in Spanish? Riquisimo. Riquisimo. <laughs> Riquisimo. Delicioso. Delicioso. All right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and pack some ceviche up for the boat today because we're about to go out with Carlos, who actually runs the Drop Fishing Charters out of San Juan in Puerto Rico. He's been amazing to us. He's been taking us fishing, spear fishing. I mean, just above and beyond. 
So make sure to check out his fishing charter. I'll put everything in the description below. But right now we're about to do it all again today. We're about to go offshore, drop some lines, jump in the water, hopefully shoot some fish. But right now guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing. There's another plane taking off right now. And I'll